Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Over the last couple of weeks, Bitcoin has just been consolidating in this descending parallel channel where recently we actually broke above this descending line of previous resistance, which has now been flipped into support. And besides breaking through this previous level of resistance, you can also see on the MACD indicator on the daily time frame, which is a momentum indicator, you can see that recently we have been seeing nothing but bearish momentum. However, a couple days ago, we confirmed our first daily candle close in the green ever since reaching the top, meaning that we are now getting a bit of bullish momentum. Potentially, we could continue to see this trend go higher, in which case you will also see the price move higher, potentially all the way up to the top of this range, which would be roughly at 71,000 US dollars. Now, besides that, there's also another bullish indicator on the one day time frame. In this case, it's the RSI momentum indicator, because recently we have been getting rejected from this descending line of resistance over and over again on the daily time frame. However, a couple of days ago, we actually confirmed a daily candle close above that level, signaling that potentially the RSI as well as the Bitcoin price is ready to move to the upside. So now to get a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term, let's zoom in on this four hour time frame for Bitcoin to take a look at the important support and resistance levels. First of all, in the case we go a bit lower than the current price, the first big level of support is right here from about 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. And besides that, we also have this descending line of support that I talked about earlier in the other chart that I showed. So those are the key support levels to watch. However, in the case that we do trade higher from here, the next big level of resistance is actually right here from about 65,000 US dollars all the way up to 66K. And in the case that you do see the price break above that level of resistance, we might face a little bit of short term resistance right here at exactly 67,000 US dollars. However, in the case that the price breaks through that level, the next big level of resistance is from about 68.5K all the way up to 70,000 US dollars. So now moving on to the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, and we are actually seeing some very bullish news because yesterday on Monday, we got a net inflow of $217 million worth of Bitcoin that was bought just on Monday. And if you combine that with the nearly $380 million net inflow that came in on Friday, you can see that this trend of net outflows is actually reversing to be net inflows now. And in fact, the most noteworthy inflow that we have seen so far in this new reversal is actually this $63 million net inflow from the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF. Because so far, ever since the launch of the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF, they have seen nothing but outflows. And this $63 million net buy right here is actually the first time that they had a net inflow since the launch. Because as you can see in this row right here, in total, they have had $17.5 billion worth of net outflows ever since the launch. And taking a look at this new data right here, you can see that again on Monday, they had a net inflow of about $4 million, which is another bullish sign in my opinion, because we don't have that massive amount of selling pressure coming from the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF every single weekday. So as always, I'm going to continue to monitor this and check back in with it tomorrow. So if you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now moving on to the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps for today. First of all, taking a look at the three day time frame. And before I get too far ahead of myself here, the reason why this is important to analyze is actually because the Bitcoin price typically gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So where there are the most yellow areas on this chart. And as you can see, recently we took out a lot of liquidity to the upside and then a lot of liquidity to the downside, where right now on the three day time frame, most of the liquidity is in fact to the downside sitting at about 62.5K. And we can see a similar story on the one week time frame with again, most of the liquidity at 62.5K. However, there is liquidity reaching all the way down to about 56,000 US dollars. So in my opinion, this is a significant signal for us in the short term that we must be open to potentially some more downside. And one other thing that is very significant, if you zoom out even further to the one month time frame, you can see that by far, most of the liquidity is to the upside. 
first of all, sitting at 67.3K, but even going as high as 71.6K. So this is why it's important to take a look at the different timeframes where in the short term, you can have more liquidity to the downside, but in the long term, it's clear that most of the liquidity is to the upside. Now taking a look at Ethereum, first of all, you can see that recently we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded all the way to the downside, losing the 0.618 Fibonacci level, going lower, and then eventually finding some short-term support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level, where we have now been ranging between the 0.618 and the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So to get a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term, let's take a look at the short-term support and resistance levels for Ethereum. So what is the story here? Well, as you can see, we got rejected from this level of resistance, which is sitting from about 3150 all the way up to 3250. So for right now, we got rejected and are trading to the downside with the next big level of support sitting below the current price at about $3,000 all the way down to 2850. And as you can see, this 2850 level roughly lines up very nicely with the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So that is definitely noteworthy. And in the case that we do see a bounce soon and actually trade to the upside through this level of resistance, then the next big level of resistance is right here at the 0.618 Fibonacci level, which is sitting at 3330. Now, one thing I wanted to note for Ethereum here is that on the higher time frame, so the one day time frame, we have just steadily been getting rejected from this descending line of resistance. So as of right now, we are just clearly in a downtrend. However, in the case that we do see the price break through that level of resistance, potentially that could be the signal for Ethereum to actually be reversing to the upside and getting more bullish momentum soon. So from now on, this is something that I will be tracking on the channel every single day. Now taking a look at Solana on the weekly time frame. Recently, we got rejected from this 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded all the way to the downside and even got some scary wicks below the 0.5 Fibonacci level. But we did end up finding some support at that level and are now trading to the upside. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Solana. And from what we can see on this four hour time frame, it's honestly not looking too bad for Solana right now, because recently after breaking through this previous line of resistance and flipping it into support, we just blasted through all kinds of levels of resistance where we are now trading above the level and have flipped it into support. And exactly as I called in my previous videos, we might get some short term resistance at about this 160 level, which is exactly what we're seeing right now. So since we are now getting rejected in the short term, what are the key levels to look out for in terms of support? Like we could potentially get a little bit of support at about this 152 level in the case that you just see Bitcoin reversing to the upside or something right now. However, the big level of support for Solana right now is this 150 down to $140 level. So in the case that we do get a bounce from here, like I said, there is some short term resistance right here at about $160. However, in the case that you get a larger move to the upside, the next big level of resistance is from about $166 all the way up to $172 for the price of Solana. Now, if you are currently on your own in the crypto space, I highly recommend you join my crypto community. It's a really fun and awesome place to be where you can learn from other crypto traders and investors or simply connect with other people that are basically doing the same thing as you. You can join for free with the first link in the description of this video. This has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.